now we are being joined by Oji Ope with stories trending around the world today. Good morning, Oji. Good How morning. are you? Uh, you look Oh, so do you. You're wearing my favorite yeah. color. Yeah. So you've made my day. <laughs> Orange. Orange. Okay. Uh, should we ask Dr. Uh, Matty what Hello. this color is? Oh, yeah. Hi, Dr. Matty. How are you? Good. Good, good. good to see you. Good to see you too. Well, good morning to you viewers. We begin what's trending today in Nigeria. Cross River State Governor Professor Ben Ayade is generating a controversy over his call for residents in his state to ditch social distancing as a policy, but embrace the use of masks as a tool to stop the spread of coronavirus. The policy, which the governor tags as no mask, no movement, also promises to come hard on commuters over non-compliance to the no mask, no movement order, adding that offenders will pay up to 300,000 naira to get their impounded vehicles back when caught. Let's take a quick listen to this video. times on this program that leaders are responsible for their people. I don't understand why they don't double check facts before they come out to speak. How Thank can you. you say no mask, no, 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 no um, social distancing? Now, I don't understand that because for the past three months, everyone has been talking about social distancing as a tool to stop the spread of coronavirus. So, I mean, I really don't understand Make what he's doing. Make masks available, first well, of all, if me, you really want to impose And first. he has a nice uh, little let, fabric. Let me start first with the, uh, you know, the circumstances of mm. that video. I start in that regard with a bunch of psychophants and bootlickers, mm -hmm. you know, surrounding uh, Ben Ayade when he was making that statement. You could hear the uh, psychophants say, mm -hmm. oh, that's true. Yes, oh, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. And then when he said no mask, no movement, all of them ignorantly yep. uh, just soaked in the ignorance that uh, the, uh, uh, the governor of uh, Cross River State had just uh, put out. Now, I think those people, you know, they seem to be uh, a, a reflection mm -hmm. of the way Nigerians behave. When they are around a man of power, many people, they just switch off their brains yep. and they replace it with sawdust. So I find that gathering in itself, you know, a comment on the uh, power relations between people who lead and the people who follow them. That's one. Two, I think, uh, you know, there have been many myths about, you know, coronavirus. And one of those myths uh, is, uh, you know, Ben Ayade, who happens to be a professor, uh, promoting it. He happens it. to be a professor. And I think he needs to go and do some homework and mm -hmm. check up again on the literature. Uh, because what he's doing there is a case of disinformation. Mm -hmm. What WHO has put out there, and he only needs to Google it, uh, the oracle of the modern times, uh, is that one, masks do not provide solid guarantee. Exactly. Because masks, yes, can uh, protect, uh, you know, a part of your face. And if you are coughing or you are sneezing, then, of course, it prevents you from infecting others, from, uh, you know, issuing droplets. But your eyes are open. Certain other cavities are open. And there's something... You know, uh, uh, the health advisory on uh, coronavirus uh, that they refer to as aerosols, right. which can still penetrate certain parts of the body. Right. Now, that is one point. The second point, again, is that, yes, if you are down with uh, the virus, right. then, of course, if you use the mask, it helps you. Uh, members of your family who may be close to you, if they also use the mask, you will be protected. Right. But to give the impression that the mask is a foolproof Solid guarantee uh, is not true. Yeah. Then on social distancing, you have made the point. You know, I, I, every government, every health, you know, a professional has been talking about social distancing. 
and the government, you know, uh, the governor of course was they say, oh, social distancing is well, not. Well, once it. you have the mask, I, you don't I, I think that that is wrong. Mm -hmm. But I think what is more important for me is the fact that the uh, director general of the uh, the CEO of the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, the Minister of Health, and the Minister of State for Health, they have said, look, these politicians should not politicize COVID-19. I mean, don't even talk. It's not Just a political wait. campaign wait. issue. People should stop playing politics with mm -hmm. it. They should allow the experts to do the talking. Exactly. See, ben Ayari is not an expert on COVID-19. I mean, He's not a medical doctor. Just, he should just say, shut up. In the United States, you see President Donald Trump every day addressing the press. And he doesn't have the answers for everything. That's why Dr. That's Fauci why is Dr. there. Fauci That's why Dr. Fauci. Dr. Bricks is there. Exactly. If you need facts, just get experts to speak with you. I don't understand I'm... why he thinks it's okay to come out with such... Is he trying to sell the mask? Because I don't understand what it, the story really I mean, is. I is that what it is? Is, there, is there that is a government-owned mask factory <laughs> in Cross River State. And uh, he has been encouraging that uh, factory to produce. And he's been insisting that everybody must wear a mask. If you don't wear a mask, you get a fine of three hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. I hope there is an, an enabling law backing that, <laughs> and not, sure the, the, not the the governor. You I know, mean, uh, I, could, I can't imagine that how, there how be. people should uh, behave. I just find it particularly appalling that, yeah. and this is why state governors just continue to disappoint and disappoint one after the other. Because, like you said, it's this show of power relations between pol politicians and their people that we see playing off here. Like, how can you actually, in all your senses, stand up? By the way, in no social distancing whatsoever, no. because in your own head, you've Already. decided that you don't need to social distance because you've got a mask on your face, which has no proof of doing anything really and truly to stop the spread of coronavirus. There are controversies around that. And you address your people to make that kind of demand. Do you know, I just can't wrap my head around it. Honestly speaking, I think this is one of the most shocking shows that we've had from any of our leaders yes. since this outbreak happened. Oh, you weren't here yesterday when we discussed Pastor Chris Oyakilo. Oh, let's not even get into him. <laughs> please, please, please. All right. May we take another yes. story? Yeah. All right. Now, let's head over to China, where a group of Nigerians on Twitter are posting videos of alleged maltreatment of Nigerians by, China, by the Chinese government. Using the hashtag, China must explain, users are calling on the Nigerian government to take action. One user, Abayomi, posted a video with the caption, Chinese government are enslaving Nigerians in China and chasing them out of their homes. Nigerian government are importing Chinese doctors into Nigeria. Hashtag, China must, must explain. Let's take that video real quick. No. They already chased us out from our hotel, and they kept us here that we should wait. They collected all our passports. Look at them. They collected all our passports. If the Nigerian government is doing anything, please, we beg them, let them be fast, so we can go out of this mess here in China. It's too difficult here, man. Well, are we... Um you know, let's just do one more video from um, that hashtag. Unfortunately, we have run out of time. But, you okay. know, this is the aspect that I was saying a lot of Nigerians are getting emotional about earlier on in the show um, with regards to the fact that Nigerians are being showed as being mistreated yes. over in China. And, yes, China must explain, but we cannot tie this to having advisors come in as well, doctors come in to advise us on COVID-19. I think the two are completely separate, and I don't think they should be tied to each other at all. Well, I think there must be an investigation, right? Now, if Certainly. the story is true. Certainly. Well, in any case, we haven't had the two sides of the, of the story. story yeah. It's important to always have the two sides. Yes. Thank you very much, Oji. Thank Thanks, Oji.